In 2004, Glasgow University approached our company to um, enter a shortlist uh, competition to provide a small animal hospital um, for the university and we were delighted to have won that competition and over the last few years um, we've obviously developed it and it um, successfully was opened last August 2009. The main design concept really was to produce a, um, what is a relatively large animal hospital building um, sympathetically in what is um, lovely green parkland of the estate and we simply um, the, the, the concept was to literally open up the grassland and sliding the two-storey hospital underneath the, the grassland. Um, the layout is quite systematic and simplistic where on the lower floor you, um, you have the working hospital that's contained with the um, gabion wall, the galvanised caging, the reclaimed stone, and then on the upper floor you have the teaching classrooms and the offices that provide great views out into the parkland. Um, the actual setting of the building is, um, we tried to make it as sympathetic as possible. I think that's demonstrated with the final, um, final imagery of the building. And what we really did use was um, a large, old, um, mature oak tree that gave good orientation around the building. Again, trying to relate the building to its parkland context. And there was a number of opportunities to use galvanised um, steel um, within the gabion walls, within the columns and the, the roof structure. This primarily um, was for the robustness and the durability of the product that's obviously well known. Um, and g given the, the brief from the client to produce a building um, for a number of years, um, the galvanised aspect of many elements of the building helped support um, what will be and should be a durable project for many years to come.